Welcome to Garland's Application Excellence Series on Tough Flash for liquid flashing details. Tough Flash is a multi-purpose, asphaltic polyurethane-based liquid waterproofing membrane designed to create a watertight flashing on all of those tough roofing details that a typical modified membrane has trouble sealing. Tough Flash, combined with Grip Polyester, creates a watertight liquid flashing system that adheres to asphaltic membranes as well as a variety of metal surfaces. To ensure a successful installation of Garland's Tough Flash liquid flashing system, the following topics will be covered in this series. Roofing details and surfacing suitable for the Tough Flash liquid flashing system. Surface preparation. Application techniques and equipment. Inspection and application verification. Tough Flash liquid flashing system is used to seal tough roofing details on BUR or modified roofing systems where adhesion between the roof surface and an unusual detail is required. Tough Flash is designed for details where a typical pitch pocket or modified flashing would not be effective. Typical Tough Flash details that are approved for a garland warranty include an angle iron beam coming through a BUR or modified roof system or an I-beam coming through the roof. Tough Flash should not be applied over roofing insulation or related materials that are saturated with moisture. It is important to note that existing gravel surfaced and single ply roofs are not candidates for the Tough Flash liquid flashing system. For applications over existing roof systems, a complete inspection must be made. A core cut and moisture scan can be used to determine if and where trap moisture exists within the roof system. Tough flash must be used with a reinforcement fabric in appropriate width to seal and reinforce all areas around the existing roof detail. To finalize the system, a surfacing material, typically minerals or a reflective coating, must be applied. Before installing the tough flash system, it is important to conduct adhesion testing. Adhesion testing verifies that the existing surfacing will sustain an acceptable bond with tough flash to ensure proper performance. Here are a few adhesion tests being performed on a few of the acceptable substrates in accordance with ASTM D903. Following integrity verification and field adhesion testing, acceptable surfaces include mineral surfaced modified bitumen, smooth surfaced modified bitumen, smooth surfaced built up roof, or a variety of metal surfaces. Proper surface preparation is the key to successful applications. All dirt, debris, oils, and loose minerals, etc., must be removed by the most effective method possible. On metal surfaces, rust must be removed by the most rigorous method suitable for the particular project to ensure clean metal. In addition to proper cleaning, metal surfaces require wiping with isopropyl alcohol over the surface to ensure proper preparation of the metal and superior adhesion. Only age granulated and age smooth BUR surfaces require a primer to ensure maximum adhesion. These surfaces should be primed with Garla Prime at a rate of one half gallon per 100 square feet. <music> Tough flash can be applied at temperatures of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is four degrees Celsius and rising by brush or trowel. Here are a few other tools that will be needed to install the Tough Flash liquid flashing system. Roof knife, wire brush or grinder to clean the metal, rags to wipe metal clean, bottle of isopropyl alcohol, gloves, masking tape, tape measure, reinforcement fabric, scissors, mason's trowel or mastic brush, and a wet mill gauge. Now let's take a look at how to install the Tough Flash liquid flashing system. Number one, remove all loose material from the area and prep the metal. The area should be clean, dry, and free of oils or any type of parting agents that could reduce surface adhesion. Number two, to clean the metal, use a wire brush or grinder to remove any old material, rust or paint from the area that the tough flash system is going to adhere to. Number three, once the metal has been prepped, wipe clean with isopropyl alcohol. Number four, next outline the area where tough flash will be installed by marking the area with masking tape. Masking tape should extend at least 8 inches out in every direction from the penetration, giving you a minimum of a 16 inch by 16 inch square area where the liquid flashing will be applied. Also tape or mark off at least 8 inches vertically up the penetration. Number 5. 
Next cut grip polyester reinforcement fabric to fit inside the taped off area, cutting it two inches short for both the vertical and the horizontal surfaces. Number six, apply a base coat of Tough Flash at a rate of two gallons per 100 square feet, 32 wet mills to the edges of the marked vertical and horizontal surface areas. Number seven, embed the vertical pre-cut grip polyester reinforcement fabric first into the base coat of Tough Flash. Use either a mason's trowel or brush to press the fabric into the wet coating. Number eight, apply the top coat of Tough Flash extending the liquid flashing all the way to the edge of the vertical area, completely covering the fabric reinforcement. Apply at a rate of three to four gallons per 100 square feet, 48 to 64 wet mills. Do not leave any exposed fabric. Number nine, repeat the previous steps for the horizontal surface, embedding the grip polyester reinforcement fabric into the base coat and then applying the top coat at 48 to 64 wet mills. Number 10. At this point of the application, you will choose to either broadcast minerals into the wet tough flash or wait 15 days and apply a reflective coating to the cured surface of the tough flash liquid flashing system. It is important to inspect the tough flash system and touch up deficient areas with additional product as necessary to ensure complete and uniform coverage. The best way to ensure the specified amount of material is being applied is to use a wet film thickness gauge during installation. Holding the gauge in an upright manner, gently press it into the wet coating. As you remove the gauge from the coating, Note the deepest tooth that has been completely covered with the coating. The true wet film thickness of that location lies between the tooth that has been coated and the next tooth that is clean and has no coating on it. For the most accurate reading, check the coating's wet film thickness immediately after the coating has been applied. Only use the gauge on a flat surface. Take a series of readings over your project to ensure that the coating is being applied consistently and per the project specifications. Make sure to clean your gauge between readings. These are general guidelines for the application of the Tough Flash liquid flashing system. Tough Flash can also be used in combination with Garmesh reinforcing tape. Please see the application guide for details. The material requirements may vary depending upon the specific job requirements. Garland's fluid applied elastomeric roofing systems must be applied to structurally sound substrates and properly prepared surfaces. All surfaces must be clean and dry before application. Garland's roofing systems must not be applied over wet insulation or related materials. Failure of the substrate does not constitute failure of the Garland coating or system. Garland's systems are designed for use on well-drained roofs. Garland's coatings should not be applied when rain or freezing temperatures are expected before the coating is dry. If unusual conditions exist, contact your local Garland representative.